If you've been following this channel for a while, you know we do a lot of forensic jobs and we do a lot of data recovery and things of that nature. A lot of forensic jobs we do not show on this channel because if we sign an NDAs and we cannot show much of these cases. And there's a lot of cool and interesting cases that pass through this lab at any point in time. However, this particular case you're going to watch today came in just recently. It, it, was, it was a dash cam that, that's from a car accident. Now, when I when I got this case in here, it looked kind of weird because the, the dash cam was disassembled or broken in pieces. It looked strange. The SD card was also a little bit scratched, which is also weird. So I had not much information about this case when I was doing this job, but now I do. Now, someone deliberately tried to destroy this dash cam. Uh, that's all I can really say because there's much more to this case that I can discuss. However, very interesting case. I'm glad we got this to work. This is the micro SD card. Uh, luckily, it worked on. Uh, by just repairing the one trace and running wires to the SD protocol, but it is working now. We're able to dump it, hash it, and all these things. Anyways, let's get to the video and you'll see what really happened to this micro SD card. For being here for another video today i got something different uh we got a forensic case i can't really show much um labels on this case here let me uh, get your focus here so this um this case here is a dash cam that was inside of a car uh in an accident so it was found uh sometimes later and it was found in pieces i don't know why it's in pieces that's already suspicious so there's a micro SD card here that doesn't work apparently. So we're gonna uh, take it out and see what's wrong with it. Um, hopefully it's recoverable. Hope it's not cracked in half. I haven't even looked at it yet. So uh, I'm gonna crack it open. I'll have to be careful. I can't show too many. Um, I can't show the, the bag here because it has a case on it. Sorry about this crunching. Uh, so let's get a knife here and cut it open the top here. Are we supposed to? Evidence bags are supposed to be open at the top. I'll learn this at a later date. So let's dump everything out. So let's lay it all down here and we're gonna take photos because that's how you're supposed to do this. So it's holy crap, what happened to this thing? Jeez. Um, so let's just take pictures quickly here. And um, as soon as I'm done with the photos, we're gonna get back to this case. Okay, we got the photos now, so uh, let's assess here what we got. So we're gonna put the camera aside. I don't need the camera. We just need the micro SD. And let's have a look at the microscope. I gotta turn the camera on for the microscope one second. Okay, I don't know why this is getting so scratched. Honestly, don't know. Let's see. Um... Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I wasn't told anything about this case, so I don't know why it's like this, but looks like someone was trying to get it out of here. Was it stuck in here? What the how did it even happen? Well, okay, anyways. So let's do a quick test on this. I'll be right back. Let me just test to see what happens. So the card doesn't show up whatsoever. So that means it's it's um it's too scratched. Or something's uh, cut on it, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna get a fiberglass pan. We're gonna remove the back. I'm not gonna film this. I'm just gonna remove it kind of quickly, and then I'll come. Back. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. So I got the back removed uh, using the fiberglass pan before someone asks. It's a fiberglass pan, so the the back was removed, and we can see now there's uh, definitely damage on one of the lines here. Uh, and I checked with the multimeter, and you can actually see that. Uh, uh, there's no continuity so if you check this uh, right here see there's no continuity uh, how about uh, this one this one's okay there's one more line that uh, looks to be damaged but this one's okay too and how about this one this one's good yeah there's no other damage that I could see on this particular card so I think uh, we just need to repair that one 
uh, the one line there. But I think um, the best uh, solution here is going to be soldering the card onto uh, uh, one of these boards. Uh, so we're gonna so we're gonna mount it here, and then we're gonna run wires directly to SD protocol right here. So this way we can mount it without any issues. I mean, I could probably run wires onto the as micro SD itself, but um, I think it'll be safer just to run wires directly to the uh, SD and hopefully it's going to work. Okay, so we got it mounted here. Uh, so let's wire this guy up. So let's get some flux on here. And we're gonna get some flux onto here. And also I'm gonna run the wire directly from here. So we're gonna go from pin one, which is right here. And then we're gonna this one, then we got this one. And this one, I'm gonna run the wire from the line here. This one's okay, this one's okay, this one's okay, this one's okay. So we're gonna get the solder here. That's way too much. And we're done. <clears throat> we're done soldering this thing. You can see here, that's not the prettiest job, but who cares, as long as it works. Here's a simple fix. It's not always that simple. I was hoping uh, it's gonna be this simple because if, if we had to recover it another method, it would obviously take a lot longer. It wouldn't be in this video. So let's go test it now, see if it actually works. Cause it is soldered, it doesn't mean it's gonna work. So we're done now, we're, we're mounted on here. So let's, uh, let's go test it out. This might work or might not work, I don't know. Uh, I mean, there could be more damage to the card that I'm not seeing, but let's plug it in and see if it shows up. If it does show up, I'm not going to mount it. Obviously, it's a forensic case, so we're going to actually go straight into Gardonix and take an image there. But if it, I just want to test it on Linux to see if it actually even acknowledges the card is there, because if it's there, then that's good. Uh, if we can see a name and a size, then that's the first step. So then we can take it over there and then we can uh, recover the data, take an image, hash it, all that stuff. So let's plug it in and see. And we can see here the size showed up. We can see 16 gigabyte. Um, that's the card here. So no errors. So that's good. So good news. The card is working. Uh, we're going to take it over to Gardonics now and recover the data. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this and others. And I'll see you in the next video.